Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be covering the 0.14.9.1 update that's happening on the 13th of the 6th, 2024. So there is a huge amount of update here. Well, there's a huge gameplay element update here. But to start off, I just want to quickly talk about my 3D printing business called Gaming Stuff. Currently over on Etsy, we've got a Father's Day deal going on where you can get it 25% cheaper than it already is. So if you guys want to grab yourself some cool merch and head over here, you can grab all of the stims and sell at Tarkov for at least £129. So head over there, the link will be down below. So starting off when it comes to these updates, the list of changes added a new loot crates with various useful items. So this is the stuff that is linked to uh, Escape from Tarkov Arena. At the moment, you've most probably seen it here and there that this is quite bugged when it comes to the daily. This, the requirements they've got is incredibly hard. I still think BSG is on the whim, hoping that it's going to end up being bigger than it actually is. Because at the moment, it's hard to... There's, there's some stuff like you got to win 22 games in a row or something ridiculous like that to complete some of your dailies. It's incredible. But the stuff that they're going to be talking about here is these just here. So you can see that you can... You've got a weapons box right here. You've got a scab box right here. So if we go through them, a weapon, uh, an equipment crate. The crate contains various chest rig armors, helmets, helmet attachment, ballistic plates, headsets, and masks. The weapon crate contains various weapon including pistols, melee weapons, weapon attachments, grenades, ammo, supply crate. The crate can contain various barter items required for crafting and upgrading the hideout, as well as medicine, stimulants, food, and water. The valuable crate can contain various valuables, expensive barter items, keys, key cards, and info items. Loot crates are initially locked and are obtained through completing daily and weekly operations in tasks in Escape from Tarkov Arena. The crates can be unlocked at Workbench Level 2 zone in the hideout. So there's a lot of issues. I, I would like to know your guys' opinion on the arena side of things. But being arena having to be paid, it needs to be free in my opinion. If you're going to be linking this much over to Tarkov, Everyone should be getting it for free. I really do think Arena should be free to play. With how dead the game is, there's times where over on Twitch, it's got like, I don't know, like 10 or 20 viewers. Whilst Tarkov sitting there with like, you know, five digits, over 10,000 viewers. It's such a... It's such a... Uh, I don't want to sound like a, a mean person, but it, it, in my eyes, it's a failure. You know, they put so much time and effort into Arena, taking resources away from the game that we all love in Tarkov and pull it into another game that is an absolute flop that got eaten up by cheaters so early on that it's just it became unplayable for me I just didn't want to play it because every every time every person you go against not every person but at least one person in every like two games you'd end up running into a cheater it's horrendous so this is good I like that they're doing this personally I think it's really cool right that we're going to have this link to another game but they need to make it more readily available realistically or it's just it's just ref is just going to be dead realistically unless you're a streamer who's got thousands of hours and you can play it it's just it's just not going to happen i don't think so this is the big one this is this is the one that is going to be changing adjust the ballistic plates collider all ballistic plates colliders in the same zone are now the same size various of ballistic plates granite SAPI, Granite 4, or Corund will protect the identical surface area on a thorax. Increase the ballistic plate protection area. Front ballistic plate now increases with the head, or increased width and height. Add a collider covering the collarbone and colliders covering the armpit area at chest level. Back plates colliders increase width and height. Side ballistic plate increase width and height. Oh, I'll cover that bit in a minute. Okay, so when it comes to the, um, so when it comes to these actual plates, I don't know if you don't know, but it is such a integral part, like how close it is. So right here, the one in the, the one in the white, right, is the old one where you can easily get shot in the armpit. As you guys know, the amount of times that we end up dying in the armpit was just insane, in my opinion. So you can see how bad it is right here. So you can get shot right here into the chest. Scavs have got buckshot or whatever just absolutely destroy you without a chance. So you can see, you can see on the front plate as well. This is the old one. So this is um this is one of the Russian armors because the way that it's uh, set up the triangle plate here. But you can just get sure right here. But here you can see the actually covered. 
so listen to the community and this part is really good like don't get me wrong it's cool being in like you know in depth like that but with a game like tarkov where you know the servers don't run the best mate it's just gonna end up not working out for us and it hasn't done a lot of times end up dying to really stupid things and uh, this this right here is gonna be gonna make tarkov actually usable you know you can run ultons and stuff you can actually run decent armors again this this update is really good when it comes to the regard of this um all effects of amart and unheard will only work in pve mode so this is the new this is the thing that got added for the unheard people the true believers and uh yeah so this is uh this means the scales won't shoot you over a certain distance and to be honest with you i find it a weird one for, for me because i have the unheard edition um the in-game extractions okay cool but you end up losing scav rep right and it's just I, I never use this this is just not worth it in my opinion right it's just it's such a useless item in the game i just i just don't think it's worth it at all yeah okay you get insurance back faster and you discount all that kind of stuff but that's that's interesting so this only works in pve now to the pvp so you only get your insurance faster back car extraction discounts and all that kind of stuff interesting okay cool that's that's perfectly fine addition bonuses reduce your insurance return time by 30 percent for edge of darkness owners as well as those who've upgraded from edge of darkness to unheard i feel like that was in the last one added the unique upper clothing cultist jacket for the unheard edition owners so that's cool here we go so these are the new uh the new clothings so that's with the hood up and then that's with the uh hood down so you wear out or something then the hood will end up going put down but yeah these look really cool i am definitely hyped for these and he's also shown like how you're gonna hold it with a gun as well which is really cool i i just like it i think it's pretty solid that's yeah um i did a unique uh dog tag appearance for the edge of darkness and the edge of unheard owners so with this one um the i i have this asset ripper that you can get from tarkov um well for any unreal game this is the only thing that i can see that's different in the files before the update happened where you can see this golden band you got the twitch icon so it could be end up something along the lines of that i just wanted to show you like this is what it used to be like this is the only unique thing that is in the game at the moment so it might end up following the same style as this but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out my 3d printing store which is called gamingstuff.com or if you want to grab the father's day sale over on etsy whilst it's super cheap make sure you head over to that all links will be down below you guys have a great day and i'll see you over in the live stream i just want to thank everyone for their continued support over on twitch patreon as well as youtube and a special thank you to kazuki tactical gickled perkin dragon slayer and riven king